uh, what's happening? Who knows? Who knows what's happening? Alright. 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 I've been playing for 110 minutes. Convert that to hours, however you want. You're giving me 5,000 miles of hallways to cross for absolutely no reason. Fine, I'll cross them. That's cool. Might as well, there's something. Boosting the laser might make... Like, that could make an amount of... difference. Like, it's already really strong. Like, I got a quarter million. Lol, I can't even do everything there. Alright. Sweet potato chips. Yeah, it's been hanging out in my pockets for a while. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's... Well then. That poor pig. He had a terrible life. I did it. I bought this television. Maybe some... Well, they have plenty of time after the game is over. Uh, so... I guess that's the fridge, right? How much does that heal? If that's an extra full heal, that's it. I won. Straight up. Which... Alright. Sure. Save two. There we go. Stronger laser. More healing. This thing's gonna be enough.
is going terribly, by the way, but whatever, it's fine. Consider this is a fine like I used one full canteen. I'm at about half and I have rolls lunch that she made me which is really nice but What I hope changes things is the laser here. I upgraded your attack once I mean Yeah, I did <laughs> I still have a lot of laser, actually, that I could use. But you're mostly just kind of dancing around. Now you're like super dancing around. Okay, now you appeared somewhere else. Your hitboxes are mysterious, but that's okay. Alright, feeling your power. I felt it. So yeah, I still have like a partial bar. Oh boy. Lucky. Alright, ducky. It's duck time. Yeah, this is a game changer though. Because if she goes into this move, this is a lot of basically guaranteed damage that I'm doing here. And it is beautiful. I can even go here and do it. Okay, she's summoning God though. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? That's fine. So they like, oh, that's more than yeah. It's basically a full health back. Feel her power. I'm feeling it. Feeling the power. Feeling it. Uh, yeah. Hey, I actually like dodged the whole thing. I'm a bit gravity affected. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was so unclimactic. Yeah, it just boosted the laser once. That was the difference maker. Well, also, now I knew how to deal with her many attacks. And also, I was lucky. She only used her sweeping ray once, which is like the hardest thing to dodge. It's a lot of factors that smash together. 100, 131 minutes of recording at this point. A sadness in his eyes. The more I obeyed the system and tried to serve the master, the sadder he seemed. 
now triggered thanks to you. Perhaps... Perhaps the Master... will also smile at me. Her shoulders are screaming ducks. Sarah! At last, I understand. Thank you, Trigger. Th th thank you. Sarah. Don't think you're going to get off that easily, Sarah. You were always too stubborn for your own good. Is if we have a shell, three? we can transfer your primary programs over, right? Gats is dead. He died because of your gamble. If you die as well, who will be left to keep me company? You can't fool me. I know you can hear me. Still going to ignore me? Then let me tell you something. Now that Elysium is no longer functioning, the old system the Master's people shut down has started to reactivate. It was your responsibility to monitor it. If you die and it takes over, the Master's work was for nothing. Do you want that? Do you mean to say that... Man, that the Elder was a quick System transfer. is becoming active again? There are remnants of that system buried all over Terra in what the Carbons call ruins. There's so many, even I don't know how many there are. I doubt they'll be fully active soon, but eventually they will. If we don't do anything, just imagine what will happen to Terra and all its people. If the elders and their machines activate, Sequel hook. what will your sacrifice here have been for? What do you say, Sarah? Are you up for living with the people the Master left behind? Could be a little wild, but interesting. Perhaps it might be worthwhile. I can't remember the last time I saw you smile, Sarah. I'll think about it. Once we figure out a way to return to Terra. Think about the last <laughs> time you saw me smile. That's a very good point, Sarah. <laughs> so what are we going to do, Mega Man? If we can't get back to Terra, then I can't give Roll her mother back. Is that the only thing you're worried about? <laughs> Don't worry, Yuna. Why? I know Roll. She'll come looking for us, no matter what happens. Or is that in the sequel? I don't know. That's a balloon. It's the air. It is the moon with like a big spike cast. So now I have lunch. Hey, look at that. They kept the rock and roll thing, but they don't keep it in game. <laughs> Instead, it's. Ah, whatever. Okay. Mega Man Legends 2. I was looking forward to playing you, and I was looking forward to having a great time. And, you know, I, I, I played it with the idea that I would love the game and have fantastic time that. I did not have. <laughs> oh lordy, okay. Now, like, I am. There's so much to talk about that I don't know where to start. It's. The game is fine. It is not as good as the first one. It, there's a lot of things it does well. But I feel like for everything it improved from the first game, something got worse instead. Like, one you got this very, like, this town you get to know very well, and it's very, like, detailed. Here you get a whole bunch of towns that are just a couple of buildings, and are just kind of pass by. One had a relatively basic, um, dungeon. And like, yeah, they did improve some of the dungeon design. Like, they could, when you first enter Forbidden Island, it's super rad in the snow. But then you get the Deku Tree. That dungeon is genuinely a lot of fun. Then you get the Water Dungeon. Then you get Ice Dungeon. And then, you know, the Fire Dungeon has fire poison everywhere, which feels bad. And also, you know, like, the dungeons, it's like, oh man, elemental temples, 
where I was the first game, it's true. Like, they start out with these rooms that you can tell are well-known, well-trodden. And as you progress further and further into the game, they get cleaner, and at the end, they're like super pristine and untouched and unsullied, and... There's like, story being told by the dungeon design, which does not exist in this game. And sure, a lot of my hardest parts, the parts that gave me the most trouble, were optional things, was S-Class, the races, and whatnot. But I judge a game by its side activities as roughly as the main game. Like, telling me, oh, the game is great if you don't do the side lane. No, they, everything is there to be played. And if, if they put something to the side because they think it's bad, it still counts. It still counts as a game. Uh, lots of story, but it's being told a lot by static camera shots of people you don't know talking. Every time the bonds are there, it's fantastic. And every time they're not, it's just jargon after jargon after jargon. They, they tell the plot at you, and it, oh, I, I wanted to like this game. I like this game, Is everything ready? but I don't like it as much as I'd want. Are they leaving the planet? All right. Um, Go. Keep going. <laughs> oh, that was abrupt. Oh, that's oh. the tenth time we've tried. Are they, are they teaming Maybe up? Maybe we should just give up. I got all excited when I heard that what's his name, the monkey, came back from outer space and was going to give us ancient technology. <laughs> But it just doesn't seem to live up to all the hype. Hmm, going to the stars. A task not easily undertaken. There's bound to be difficulties. Yes, but it looks like they're on the right track to me. This is cute. I think this system was too complex. Oh, they're actually working together. We need to keep things simpler. That way, less things can go wrong. But if we build it this way, it will cost too much. If we take existing parts and put them together this way... See? Just look at how much money we can save. Hmm, I think if we yeah, modify the fuel injectors like this, it just might solve the problem. It's really simple, really simple. If you would just listen to me, I could show you. See, look here. You stay out of this data. Yeah. We need to make the cargo hold smaller. We can save space and make it lighter that way. It doesn't matter! With this new amazing engine I designed, we will have more than enough power. Your engine? I'd believe you if your engines weren't made from spare parts and needed to be adjusted every five minutes. Not everybody has tons of money to build your kind of engine. If you don't use the proper Sorry, tools, Mega you Man, but it looks like you might be stuck up there for a little while more. Looks so like there's... we both got a work cut out for us. So there's multiple datas then. It's like there's just multiple. There's a network of I monkeys. How Mega Man's doing? Oh, we have to get this thing working so we can but go get him. Can I not just take the shuttle back? I've transferred from Earth to Moon all the time. Why? Why can I not? The destroying Sailor Moon here, like break that? Because I wasn't aware that was gonna be a plot point. But okay. No, oh, yeah, I, I. I like the game, but I wanted to like it more than I am. That's the summary of it. Sure. But we're not gonna overwrite Elysium. Gonna save it right here. There you go. It's still Elysium. We did it. Coming up next, after a little... a slight return to Mega Man, one of my most requested game on Patreon ever since I think it started. So look forward to that.